So the first question goes, how can you determine your audience size? And what is a good audience size? Frankly speaking, Uh, I don't have a very, first thing first, I don't even know which country you are from. But my simple recommendation is do not try to target smaller than 10% of your entire population as in like Facebook user base in your country. So like for example, in Malaysia, uh, we have about 30 million Facebook users, which is not a lot. I will try to get at least two to three million audience, you know, as we are starting out. Because that allows Facebook to have more audience to really learn better and potentially get you better results with your Facebook ads campaign. So that's the first question you have. Now, the second question here is, how can you determine your campaign budget if your price, your back price is 35? Very simple. You try to make money. So yeah, really, it's not about a budget. Budget is, in my opinion, you start with a budget that you're comfortable with. It doesn't really got anything to do with your, your whatever price of your product. The budget is what you feel comfortable. Like some clients wants to start with 50 or some clients wants to start with 10 but they are selling a $100 kind of product. Is that okay? Yes, 100%. But you start running ads. That's my recommendation. When you start running ads, then you'll be able to know, you know, by spending how much you'll be getting your first sale. And we start tracking from there. So let's say if your, you know, like back is 35, you know, after running your ads for a week, you got your first sale after spending about $50. Then, okay, now we set that as a benchmark of cost per customer. And we analyze the number we try to bring the whole thing down. You know, like, can we optimize the CTR? If it's the CTR problem, can we optimize the whole buying process, which is the landing page or whatever, the checkout process and whatnot. We try to bring the cost per, um, you know, purchase from 50 to 40 to 30. And hopefully by the time we reach about 20 or even lower, we are able to help you uh, make profit with Facebook advertising. But really the question really is not about how much you're spending is really about start running ads and let the number help you determine your next step. So that's what I mean. So really it's about like running ads and get back, come back to me, scan the QR code that you saw just now to, 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 to you know, to have, anal I mean, to audit your campaign, to review your campaign and to plan the next step. Okay. Now the next question is coming about, you're talking about, can you adjust your campaign as the budget goes and what is the ROI you should expect? Back to the question just now, there is no answer for this but only by running ads, you'll find the answer. Okay, and the next question goes, is there a formula to calculate all these parameters? There is, but it's unique for every single businesses. So when it comes to optimization, in my opinion, there is no one formula fits all kind of thing because every business is different. Like even all e-commerce businesses are different because of the industry you're in, because of the buying behavior, because of the product that you're selling, because of the price point and market positioning and whatever. So there are many things that might affect the performance of the campaign. So really the best way is to really start running ads and, you know, like analyze from there. Okay. So yeah, the calculation, yes, I have, but optimization, like I said, is really not something that I can teach as a class. That's why I have to do this on one-on-one -on -one basis because first I have to build your dashboard and I help you understand your dashboard and I teach you how to analyze the numbers and I teach you how to make decisions. Like, should we change creative? Should we tweak this? Should we tweak that? So it's a process instead of just one class fits all. You get what I mean? So really, that's the whole process that I do believe every advertisers must go through. So that's why if you do run ads, start first. All these questions are not important because it's you're not going to get answers, to be frank. Whatever answers you get out there are answers of other people's business, not yours. But for you, start running ads and get the number. So if you, my opinion, my, my advice is, you know, like after you run ads for at least one week with enough data, scan this QR code, buy me a dinner, let's have an analytics on your campaign. <coughs> we will analyze, we will see what's going on, what's working, what's not working. And I build your dashboard, analyze for you, and I build you an action plan on what to do next. So that's what we do. Okay. Now, hey, wait, did I miss a question? Yeah, I think there is. You say how to create an effective custom audience. That's also another question. But in my opinion, custom audience, Really, you have to understand the usage of custom audience. We either use it for retargeting or we use it for exclusion. So if you want to go for retargeting, then of course, you have to find the relevant audience. Like for example, seven days retargeting is relevant for e-commerce, most e-commerce, but some may go 14 days and all that. So that's the custom audience. And the other part is, you know, like um, if past customers that you have, that have bought from you, for example, in the last 30 days, 
you can actually use that for exclusion. And yeah, the other kind of custom audience that you want to use for, you know, another usage of custom audience is to, for you to create lookalike audience, then in that case, then I always go for the highest intent, which is purchase. So yeah, when it comes to custom audience, I think you probably have to have better understanding about what are you trying to do? What do you want to achieve? Then we plan a custom audience that fits that particular, um, I mean, intent. That's how it works.